Hello everyone, welcome to episode 36 of the Nugget Show, I hope that's right. Yeah, it's 36. Um, right off the bat you may notice that uh, my voice sounds completely different. That is because I switched to a new microphone called the Logitech, it's, uh, the brand is called the Logitech, it's by Logitech, it's a Logitech G35 headset. Um, mouthful, I know. <laughs> Just kidding. So, I haven't been uploading many videos lately, and I have a reason for that. Um, I'm not, I haven't been feeling too great the past couple of days, and I really was not in the mood to play Minecraft. I know how, I know that sounds really weird from me, but, um, I just really have not been feeling, uh, too good, and I haven't had the motivation to actually play uh, Minecraft, so hopefully now I do, um, now that i got a new mic and all. And the reason why I switched from my uh, blue snowball to this one was because I'm kind of sick and tired of the um, desk mic style of recording. I don't really like the desk mic, so I went to, with the headset, the best headset that I could find, and it was the Logitech G35. And it may not sound as um, crisp or clear as the Blue Snowball, but it still has a really good quality. It makes my voice sound really different. Uh, but I hope it doesn't bother many of you. <laughs> um, it's obviously not going to bother me at all because I'm so used to this beautiful voice of mine that I have. No, just kidding. Um, so... You may notice by the title, it's called The Ring of Water. I hope that's what I named it. Um, I have worked my butt off at the here at the mob mob tower. And you can see right, right there, the large ring. Now, it's not a circle. It's like a circle and a box combined. But you can see that I have pillars of water from the ring all the way down to this ocean and it's a pretty large large uh, structure up there and you can see I'm beginning construction of other structures up there um, like there's a quarter of a circle right there and I want to um, continue that all the way around but I have to complete each mob tower and if you have not noticed already, I have two out of the four mob towers complete. So that's nice. Um, I still have not uh, made a way to get up here efficiently. So I was thinking we could work on that this episode. And I have a lot of ideas. Um, but I really like the way this water wall, or ring of water, has, uh, has turned out. I mean, looks really neat. Even at night time, it looks really cool. Um, I was thinking of doing just a wall of water all the way around, but I thought it would look a bit more interesting with gaps in between. And there's no water under, underneath the tower just yet. These two. There is under these, you know, these ones, but I have to complete the tower first for the uh, water underneath to take place, so... That will be another day. <laughs> so we can just head on up here. And... Um, you can see here that I have another button added. Right there. And that's the new tower. You, know, you can already see that we have some monsters coming on in. Um, is there a skeleton stuck up there? I think so. I might need to light up those pads because... Monsters can get up there. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hold on. Oh, I see what he spawned on. Oh, yeah. That sounded like a creeper for a second. That scared me. But um, This is what I call the Sizzler. Sizzler? I think that's a nice name. Um, but you can, you can already tell why I named it that. Because as soon as a mob hits it, it makes a sizzle sound. And 
Oh yeah, this is all the cobblestone I have left. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know that. Um, but I think I came up with a theme for this uh, mob mob tower area or the ring. I want a bunch of circles everywhere, and so you can see, like I have right here, a ri uh, another circle starting her ring. I'm gonna turn down the sound a little bit more. But and that pressure plate is missing. Shoot, we got some problems that I may have not. Crap. <laughs> I think I have a design flaw on that one. And the pressure plates are missing, which is kind of strange. Hmm. Oh, well, I can fix that soon enough. Well, we won't do it now, because it's pretty boring work. Yeah, I just collect the stuff from there. And I'm waiting till I get, I think it's five stacks of gunpowder that you need to make. Um, well, five gunpowder to make one TNT, but I'm going to wait till I get five stacks of it. So I can make a complete stack of gunpowder, or TNT. Um, so my plan was, we're going to make like a city. Um, let's jump on down. We're going to make a city in the... Uh, in this barrier of water that I have and it's all going to be like floating above the water and some of it's going to be underwater too so I think it would be pretty neat it would be the start of our new new little project or town here and plus I'm going to have like floating structures up here and a way to actually get up there that's going to be by uh, minecart elevators so actually what I want to do now is I want to get sandstone half slabs and I have a feeling I'm going to die soon so <laughs> I never really paid attention to myself dying here but because I'm trying to concentrate on talking to you guys um, I need half slabs made out of sandstone now, there could be a, a possibility of having sandstone down here. We do have some sandstone, that's good. We don't have a lot, though. So, we're going to head back up. Now, in this episode, I am recording with Fraps. Um, because I noticed when I record with DX Tori, the the um, video files are an enormous. I mean, seriously, uh, like, what was it? Like, 15 minutes is 20 gigabytes. And I, I couldn't deal with that. I think I'm going to have to kill myself because I don't like running around with no, no health. Wait, we do have melons, so maybe we can change that. Haha. <laughs> Thank you, melons. But as soon as the sun comes down, I think this place looks really cool. I may also add, like, lights, like, floating in the water here, or in between the water pillars, who will really, like, bright, uh, brighten up the water at night. I also need to add, like, a wall down here or something that ho holds the water and uh, makes the wall more defined. Because it, right now it just looks like it blends in with the ocean. We don't want that. Oh, wait. We're, I don't want to go up here. We need to work on the um, pathway outside of the lighthouse here. Which is not working. Cart's not moving. That's why. <laughs> oh, well. Um. Ah, oh, man. So, I have this half slabs right here and that was I didn't succeed at placing that one down I think I might make it three wide but right now I'm just going to do two because I know I do not have enough to go around this entire tower 
So um, I really hope that this new mic doesn't bother you at all, because I don't know if it's, you know, the same as my last one quality wise, but it still sounds good to me. It just makes my voice sound completely different, <laughs> as you can already tell. Um, it makes me sound... Some people say it makes me sound a lot more masculine. I think it makes me sound less masculine, <laughs> to be honest. Which I don't mind. I really don't mind. As long as people are not calling me a girl, then it should be, should be okay. <laughs> So, I also wanted to ask you guys, and I really want you to answer this. Um, what would you guys think of me playing other games other than Minecraft? Because I honestly am kind of getting tired of playing this game. I, I It's sort of making me so bored that I'm leaning more towards taking a break from YouTube. But I think I could fix that problem by playing other games. So if you guys want me to record um, other games, then let me know. Because I'd be more than ha happy to. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm kind of getting bored of this game. Not not like, not like forever, but temporarily I'm kind of getting bored. <laughs> like I've been working my butt off for this world for so long now. And I still am not even close to accomplishing everything I want to accomplish in this world. So it's going to be interesting um, for my final decision. So let me know down in the comments. Um, I'll list off the games I have. I have Battlefield 3, Arma 2, and that means DayZ gameplay. Um, I have Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, Let's see, I'm looking at my desktop right now, trying to see. I have Max Payne 3, Aliens vs. Predators, which I actually might do a gameplay of. I have Amnesia. And Assassin's Creed Re Revelations. Um, those are all the games I own. So if you, you want me to do a Let's Play on those, let me know down in the comments. It would be, it would be appreciated greatly because I really want to know. Um, so... Moving on from that, uh, I wanted to talk about the upcoming updates for 1.3. I noticed that um, they changed the spawn, the way the mobs spawn in the game. Like, uh, they can now spawn in half slabs, like any, any mob. So that kind of ruins the whole excluding spiders from the mob towers plus mobs can now spawn on this and th they usually can't but now they can and I don't want that so that's gonna be interesting it looks like we're running out soon what else oh yeah the sand duplication uh, is now gonna be removed which is also quite sad <laughs> For me, at least, because my other base is like a thousand blocks away from a desert, so yeah. <laughs> um, so I wanted to work on the way to get up to the um, the sizzler. That's what I'll call it, the sizzling room. <laughs> Um, so what I was thinking was I'll create four pads, a circle right there, a circle right there, one in that corner, and one in that corner of the square ring <laughs> circle thing. And there'll be a tower of a minecart elevator leading up to the sizzling room in each corner. And I think that would look pretty neat. So let me know down in the comments what you think of that idea. And if you have any other ideas, let me know. Um, I also want, uh, I also want to know from you guys, wh what do you think of the VentureCraft series, and, um, if uh, you think it's going well, then let me know. I, I'm just asking you a bunch of questions, I'm sorry, but 
Just things I gotta know from you. Uh, what could we work on now? We could take a walk on the ring and see what it looks like from up above. That'd be interesting. So, let's head on up there. This is 200 blocks above this, uh, the surface of the water here. <laughs> I think it's just crazy how high you can go in this game. Whoa. Almost jumped off there due to a lag spike. Um, also, um, I haven't been making videos because I've kind of been not like uh, physically pressured from friends by, you know, ver like verbally pressured, but like mentally pressured from friends uh, to stop making videos because other friends on YouTube haven't been like my other friends on YouTube have not been making videos as much as I wanted them to because they're saying how much they want to grow and I've been telling them how much I want to grow and I don't see how whoa I don't see how when they say they want to grow um, even makes any point because I mean they're not making any videos and that's definitely not going to make them grow. So to my friends out there that are saying they want to grow and say they want to grow and prosper um, and become a YouTube partner, don't stop making videos because uh, you're... Oh, shoot, man, I keep getting knocked off. There's some mobs up there. Because if you stop you got to have a main series on your channel that everyone enjoys watching like a core a core thing um in this case on my on my uh, channel crap on my channel it's the nugget show and you know i, I try to produce videos frequently um but if you just make videos like once a week like I used to do then you're not you're not gonna get anywhere you have to you have to make a commitment of making videos and that's what I don't get from friend, from YouTube friends because they say they want to grow but I don't think they're making that commitment of oh let's see oh this is gonna be pretty challenging oh gosh Smack. Okay. Wow. So, now we're up here on one of the tower platforms. And here's the ring, completely covered with torches. Or a quarter of the ring, I should say. Now, um, you're probably like, wow, he probably cheated in all this water up here because it must have taken so long to get all that water up here. And, yes, I cheated. No, just kidding. <laughs> I used ice. I just um, placed a ice block, then a normal block. Ice block, normal, ice, normal, ice, normal, ice, normal. And I kind of did that design all the way through, and then I, when I put down the torches, forgetting that, or no, when I put down the torches, the ice melted and the water came down. But forgetting that um, when ice melts, the water doesn't update, so it just kind of floats there. I had to update each block by, or each water source by placing a block above it, which did take a very long time. As you can see, there's a lot of water. Oh, excuse me, there's a lot of water blocks here. Um, I'm also thinking about creating, you know, a viewing platform up here. Because it looks really awesome. Like, once I have a city in here, this place will look awesome from up here. The view would be just be spectacular. And I'm excited. That doesn't seem like a lot of room, but we can fit in a lot of buildings here. And this can be like our second base. Our vacation home or something like that. <laughs> um, yeah. That looks so cool with all those mobs going through <laughs> the the mob grinding machine. 
and the flushing system and the sizzler. I don't know what I'm going to name this episode. It could be the water ring and the sizzler. That's what I might name it. But um, I think I may end the episode off here. I'm sorry for the boring talking, but I just wanted to kind of update you guys. Um, but I promise you next episode I'll try to make it m more exciting and less boring. Um, yeah, this is just a little update of what I've been doing. So what I might do for the next episode which is going to be a pain in my butt. I'm going to finish both of these towers, connect them all up to the sizzler, and then I will start working on a way to get up here, a more efficient way to get up here besides parkouring up these dirt blocks. So, Oh, nice stuff. Nice stuff. Um, I should also ask you guys what you think of... I mean... I asked you if I should play different games, but I also want to ask you uh, if you want me to do custom maps, more custom maps. So, if you agree to that, then just let me know down in the comments. Uh, I want to know what you think of VentureCraft. I want to know what you think of me playing different games, um, if that would be okay, and what games you want me to play. And I also want to know, what do I want to know? I don't know. I forgot. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, so be prepared. Bye-bye. Show some love.